Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Windows NT 4.0. So we're going to log in right now. We have the startup chime. So as you can see with this version of Windows, it's based on the NT structure and as you can see, it's also based on the Windows 95 architecture when it comes to like say the theme. So if we want to change the theme color, so like the window over here, we can go into appearance and we can choose like either high contrast or for example this one. Or we can also change it to a different color if we want. But the point is, you will not, because it's based on like 95, you'll not be able to change the window title bar to a gradient color. So if we click on active title bar, it can only be one color. So with Windows NT, we have my computer over here. We have our C drive, our main system files are all in what's known as WinNT, which is today known as the Windows folder. So if we click on properties of my computer, this is Microsoft Windows NT 4.0 and has Internet Explorer 5 as well. And if we go into Winver, similar stuff, Service Pack 6, which I believe was the final version of NT 4.0 released. Now with this version of Windows, it also allowed for like internet access. But unfortunately with the internet, it's just too old to run these days. But this is how the Internet Explorer would look like. It was created in the early times of the internet actually. But NT 4.0 actually stayed around until the introduction of Windows 2000. So there's that. And we also have the Opera website, which is like an alternative to Internet Explorer. Now, if we're going to start, we look at our programs and our accessories. We have various games such as FreeCell. We can start a new game. Minesweeper. Pinball and Solitaire. So if we open up Solitaire, that's how the game looks. So we can close that, and yes, we will resign the game. We also have our multimedia applications such as CD player, sound recorder, Windows Media Player, and volume control. We have our calculator here, so this is how it would look. We have character maps, we have a clock which we can open, it's just a basic clock. Imaging, Notepad, Microsoft Paint looks the same as the main Windows XP version. Phone dialer, synchronized WordPad. We have our command prompt which says MS DOS on it, even though it's not actually MS DOS. But it does use some, with this command prompt, like you can access Windows 9X applications or DOS programs. So interesting stuff because it's a 32-bit operating system. Then we also have some Outlook Express. We actually just saw the Windows XP logo slightly pop up. So we can sign up, then we need an email address, and then you can receive mail. So this is how it would look. Then we have our Windows NT Explorer. And our control panel, this is how the control panel would look. It's not too personalized yet. Now, NT was specifically designed for work offices. It wasn't necessarily marketed for consumers because it ran on, an, on the NT. The NT architecture was in the beginning phases after Windows NT 3.1 and 3.5 came out. And then eventually NT 4.0 would be developed to become what's today known as Windows 2000. 
So that was a demo of Windows NT 4.0. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.